Welcome to the 10th and final video on how to make an orrery. I've decided to use this one and a quarter inch diameter sphere for Jupiter. I think that's going to look pretty good. So that's one and a quarter inches in diameter. If I do that and keep all the ratios of all the sizes of the planets consistent with reality, my my Mercury and Mars are going to be very small, and Venus and Earth aren't going to be much better. Than so I decided to make the inner planets about two times the diameter with respect to Jupiter and Saturn. Similar to what I did with my first orrery, I'm going to be using female clay to make my planets. And the female clay inner planets are completed. So we have the 3 32nd inch rod that goes into the elbows and those are going to be cut off to the correct length for each planet. They'll work really well for the large planets but the the tiny planets what I did is I got I got some 1 16th inch tubing which will slide inside that so the 3 32nd is going to act as a little bit of a bushing and then the 1 32nd inch steel rod will slide inside the 1 16th inch tube. I will then drill holes inside each one of the little planets and glue the 1 32nd inch rod into them. There's our planets. So I'm starting with Mercury. First thing I did is I cut a short piece of the 3 32nd inch that's going to slide down into there. I'm going to cut a little piece of the 1 16th inch tubing and adjust the height to where I need it. Then I will solder it in, in place. Let's solder in the sh shape. Let me put him up. That support is done. Mercury and Venus mounted. Alright. We're getting there. Alright, the planet posts that go up to the planets are all installed. What I'm going to do is take my hemispheres for Jupiter. It's going to be drilled at 1 32nd inch for one hemisphere and 1 16th for the other. I have to cut that post to the right length as well. You see the brass rod for that is going to slide in there like that. So that one's done. So the sixteenth goes that way. So what I need to do is glue this together. This is going to go down in here. This gets soldered in to this little thing here. So There's a little support shaft. You see how that slides down over both holes. I also found a one inch ball that I drilled a, a hole in and I cut Saturn to length. We're going to paint Mercury gray. Now both Earth and Mars need a little bit of white on them. Mars has a little polar cap, and the Earth, of course, has clouds streaming around it. The planets are complete. I put a coat of satin varnish on each one. Those need to be cut to length and inserted into their planet support rods. What I want to do is paint both Jupiter and Saturn with a white top coat so that I can paint stripes and swirls on the surface.
Before I can mount Saturn's rings onto Saturn, I need to put some um, small metal supports into the Saturn. What I'm doing is going to drill some very small holes in the Saturn. So the rings are tilted about 27 degrees off of the orbital plane, and we will drill holes on opposite sides that are about 27 degrees. The wings of Saturn are going to be made out of this plastic sheeting. This press can punch holes into the center and, and the outside. You can see that it, uh, it's going to fit down on there like that. We need to make rings around that. I will probably put one more coat on this before I peel the masking off. I'm going to take the masking off. What I want to do is put a black stripe around the center of this one. I added some other touches to Saturn and put another clear coat on top of that. And then Jupiter added a few more touches as well for bonding Saturn's rings to Saturn. Just going to put this upside down and then we're going to set Saturn in there like that. We're going to apply a little dab of that adhesive to each one of the supports. So we got a little glue on each one of the supports on the underside of the ring. The glue is dry. Saturn is completed. Then in addition to the Earth, I added a little moon. You can see I also replaced uh, brass screws with Allen screws for the set screws. Putting some felt pads on the bottom 